Hello friends, I am Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we will see another numerical based on design of short axially loaded column. So the problem statement is design a short RCC column to carry an axial load of 1500 kN. The column is 4 meter long and effectively held in position and restrained against rotation at both ends. Use M20 and FE415 grade of material. So here is the given data. As in the problem, it is mentioned that the column is carrying an axial load of 1500 kN. Therefore, we will convert it into the factored load by multiplying it by a factor of safety that is 1.5 so 1.5 into p that is 1.5 into 1500 which is equal to 2250 kN and this is our factored load fc is given as 20 newton per mm square fy is given as 415 newton per mm square spine is given as 4 meter and the condition is given here that effectively held in position and restrained against rotation at both sides okay for that to calculate the effective length we have to refer the table number 28 of is 456 2000 and we have to search for the end restrained degree so the condition is given as effectively held in position and restrained against the rotation at both ends and it is our case number one and for that IS code recommends the value of effective length is equal to 0.65 into L. Okay, so we will take 0.65 into L. So 0.65 into 4 which is equal to 2.6 meter and this is our effective length. Now our first step is to assume the 1% of steel to find out the area of steel. So 1% of gross area which is equal to 0.01 of AG. Number 2, area of concrete that is AC. We know that to find out the area of concrete, we have to minus area of steel from total area that is gross area. So AG minus ASC which is equal to 0 0.99 into AG. Then from the formula of PU, we will find out the gross area and PU is equal to 0 0.4 FCK into AC plus 0 0.67 FY into ASC. So after putting all the values here, we will find out the gross area is equal to 210 to 71 mm square. Okay, now we will find out the dimensions of column. Here we will consider the square column. Okay, therefore side of column is equal to under root 210 to 71 that is the gross area. So side of column will be equal to 458.55 mm. Therefore we will consider the higher value and we will adopt 500 mm as a side of column and therefore the size of column is equal to 500 mm by 500 mm. Now we will check for the slenderness ratio and for slenderness ratio we know that slenderness ratio is L effective upon B. B is least lateral dimension and it is 2600 upon 500 which is equal to 5.2 and it is less than 12 that means our sex, our column is short column then we will check for the minimum eccentricity and e minimum is equal to l by 500 plus d by 30 which is equal to 24.67 and it is greater than 20 mm therefore okay then there is another condition that e minimum by d is equal to 24.67 upon 500 which is equal to 0 0.049 and it is less than 0 0.050 that means our all the conditions are satisfied and hence we can design the column as axially loaded column okay so for that we will find out the area of reinforcement and in step number one we have calculated the area of Reinforcement is equal to 0 0.01 of AG. So 0 0.01 of AG is 500 by 500, which is equal to 2500 mm square. Now we will assume 20 mm diameter bar and the number of bar required is equal to 7.95. Let us provide 8, mm, 8 number of bar 
of 20 mm diameter okay therefore area of reinforcement provided is equal to 8 bars of 20 mm diameter so 8 into pi by 4 into 20 square which is equal to 2513 mm square and our last step is design lateral ties and the diameter of lateral ties should not be less than 1 by 4 of diameter that is 1 by 4 into 20 which is equal to 5 mm or 6 mm whichever is more therefore we will use 6 mm diameter ties and the spacing of the ties should not be exceed least lateral dimensions that is 500 mm or 16 into diameter that is 320 mm or 300 mm whichever is less therefore we are going to provide 6 mm diameter of lateral ties at 300 mm center to center spacing and here is the cross section you can see that the 8 bars are provided here 8 bars of 20 mm diameter and the cross section is of 500 by 500 mm and here we are providing two ties okay so here we have completed our another numerical which was based on design of axially loaded short column thank you